All right, everybody, Colt Marine here. Welcome back to Spiderweb again. So, all right, so we're putting our bind on, and I'm using, I have a one and a half inch bind that I'm using because I like beefiness on binds, man made. All right, so just gonna go ahead and use a quarter inch seam on here, and I'm using clips, my clips. I love using clips, okay? Clips are my favorite. And all I do is, I just leapfrog my clips. Once I get to a clip, I'll bring it down, further down on the fabric here. And I'll attach it. And I'll just keep going, okay? That's the thing that I love about the clips is I don't have to worry about. I just grab them and pull them out. Unlike pins, you just slide it out. Even if I don't want to use it right away, I can just slide it out. Keep on going, all right? All right, let's move this clip down here. I'm just gonna keep on trucking, okay? Clip, now that we made it to this one, we can go even further down. So we're gonna work our way down. Um, we got one side of the bind. We'll put one side of the bind on and then we'll just roll it over to the other side. Put a seam down that and we'll be wrapping it up. The world's longest quilt ever. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this off here. We are rolling. All right, so new quilters, what I'm doing is all right, because I don't, I don't ever want to forget you guys, new quilters, because I'm a new quilter, and, you know, some quilters like to leave new quilters in the dust. I don't. What I'll do is on the deck, I have a quarter inch seam marker, and I, and I try to follow that, okay, to keep a straight stitch, for those of you who are doing this for the very first time, okay? Take your time, all right? No rush. All right, there's no, there's no um, cookie at the end of this, okay? Just want to get it nice and, nice and tidy, nice and done. Wrap it up nice, all right? I've done all the mistakes there are to do, and most of my mistakes because I rush, okay? Take the time. All right, so we're moving along here. Don't want it to be too boring for you, but, man, I love it, okay? So, just working our way down here. Okay. So, once we get done with this, we'll move on to, yeah, you guessed it, the notorious, the one, the only, the New York Beauty. That's coming up, okay? That'll be the next series we work on. I'm sure Anitra's glad to hear that, <laughs> seeing how she's been harassing me. But I'm looking forward to it, okay? And, and new quilters, pay attention because I, I want you to be able to follow through too, okay? Now I got so many warnings. Oh, the New York Beauty this, New York Beauty that. But if you have patience, patience, time, and recognize that it's only fabric and it's only thread, you can knock it down too, okay? Let's pull this out. Let's tighten that up a little bit there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to um, finish putting this bind on on the side, and then we're going to roll it around to the front. We're going to stitch it on the front, too, as well. Okay. Okay, so we have a corner here, okay? So the tip of the corner right here is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip right here, right near the edge of the corner. Try to keep that from balling up, keep the 
fabric from balling up in front of the foot, okay? Okay, so we're gonna work this corner here. So what happens is, the tip of my corner right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, sew until it gets to the quarter inch marker right here. This quarter inch marker lets me know that the corner is a quarter inch from the needle, okay? So let's give that a shot here without burning down the building. I'm gonna go slow. Right here is where my corner is, okay? And that's about it. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lift the foot up. I'm gonna angle the tip of the corner. See the tip of the corner? Straight. I wanna angle off right here, okay? All right, let's cut it. All right, so I don't know if you can see it through this fabric, but right here is where the quarter inch is, and then I went off in an angle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is from here, let's position it so it's easy to see. I'm just gonna push this up like this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna fold it just like this here. So that the next strip of of uh my the next strip of my bind goes straight down. See how it goes straight down here, the next edge right here? Now the way to do that is see how this is angled right here? We're just gonna square that up. We're gonna make that even with this top right here. Okay? So but if I folded it over, right? See that? It should be like a 45 degree angle fold right in there. See that? Now, what I'm gonna do is, with one of my favorite clips, I'm gonna clip the top here, okay? Just to hold it in place. Okay, because we don't want it going anywhere. All right, so now, what I'm gonna do is, remember that angle I came in, I went off of? All right, we're gonna come in on the same angle, okay? From the tip, though. I hope you, I hope you, you understand what's going on here, all right? So I'm gonna put the tip in of the of the corner. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put the corner of my my uh, my quilt and my bind right on the edge there. All right. So what I want to do is I'm gonna come in a couple of stitches off the the uh, the corner, and then I'm gonna stop because I need to come down in this direction. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and. Add a couple of stitches here. About four or five, that's about it. Lift up on my foot. I'm gonna pivot it so that I'm coming down in, in a direction, a new direction, right? I'm gonna put my foot back down and we are ready, okay? But we need to get our clips in the game. Don't forget, you need to get your clips in the game, okay? So let's go ahead and put our fabric together here properly. Get everything lined up. Let's put a clip in here. Put a clip right here. Okay. And there we go. We're open for business. Now we're gonna start going down. No problem, right? All right, so now let's take a look at, let's just cut it right here so we can take a look at what we did. All right, let's pull our clip off here. And you see how see how we have that edge going off there, and we have the edge coming in here. So when we open it, that's what we have. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and keep that hung up there so that we can watch our clip. I love watching my clips. All right. So we're going to go right here. Let's go ahead and finish off what we started. All right, so. All right, so this is the last strip here we're working on here. All right, so when I come back, what we'll what we'll do is we'll flip it over and we'll we'll finish the bind on the other side, and then we'll roll our corners over. Okay. So. Okay, so we've completed one side of the bind, and we rolled the bind over onto the front side. 
and I just went down, sold, sold the bind on, okay? I, I've got it attached, and we're working our way down to a corner. And I just wanted to show you how I finished a corner on the front side of the bind, okay? So we're working our way down here. I took the clips off so it would, wouldn't distract you. I know you like my clips, okay? All right, so we're gonna work our way. So right down here at the, at the corner, what I did is, I fold it over. Well, I have it going straight. I just want to sew straight off, okay? So all we're going to do is come straight off. Right about at the end of all the fabric right here. That's where I'm going to stop, okay? And I'm going to cut it. Let's lift up the foot here. Now all I'm going to do here, let's clean that up there. Let's get that out of the way. Is I'm just going to fold this over like so. In a 45 degree angle here. Hold on, let's maneuver our quilt here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this over here, just like that. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna get a clip here. I'm gonna get this clip to hold it right here, the 45, okay? See how, that, see how that little 45 angle right there? 45 degree, close to a 45. All right. And then I'm going to start my stitch right here on this corner. Hold on. Let's work this out here. It's not working out the way I want it to work out. There we go. Just like that. That's what I want. Okay. Let's put our clip on here. Now I'm going to start my stitch going down here, down this direction. Okay. So let's put it under here, let's put our foot down, let's start our stitch here, okay, keep on going here, let's cut it, let's see what we got here, this is it, my corner, okay, this is how I complete a corner, so this is what I did on this corner, the same technique, okay, and just goes around and around, all right? I'll come back and clean this up later. But it comes with practice, and I am in, I am in no shape, way, or form an expert. And I'm sure there's nine million different ways of doing a corner. This is just how the quilting marine does it, okay? This is how I learned it. Um, I watched videos the same way you're watching this video, and that's how I learned to do my corners. And I just started getting better at doing corners. And... They started, they started to get easier to me as I went along, and I'm proud of my corners. They're not perfect, but they're mine. Okay, so we're going to finish off our bind here. We've got maybe a foot to go here. We're going to finish this off, and this quilt will be ready to go. To where we started at here. Spider spider web quilt is done. Okay, so this is the bind. We've got it on. Going all the way around. Nice bind, I think. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand it over to my wife and we're gonna clean it up. You know, we're gonna get all the lint off of it. I'm gonna cut all the Irish pennants that are hanging off clean it up, fold it up, box it up, and she'll be ready to send off. You, you know, I don't keep my quilts. I always give them away, and then someone's getting this one. So we appreciate you watching the videos. We appreciate you having patience with this world's Guinness Book World Record longest quilt ever made. And we're done, right? So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, I've got lint flying around. Uh, please subscribe, and remember... It's only fabric and it's only thread.